The North Bergen Board of Commissioners approved an $88 billion budget with a roughly 2% tax increase at Wednesday's meeting. So we stay within the cost of living for Budget uh, represents a very slight tax increase of about two percent, or seventy-five dollars on the local portion uh, of the tax rate. Um, pilot revenues are up. Um, we're using a little bit more surplus to help stabilize the tax rate. Um, some appropriation challenges have been health insurance increases to seven percent. Um, we're also decreasing some of our, munici our municipal pool membership fees to um, give breaks to uh, the residents. So those things combine, you know, when, when you mix them all up and shake them out, we think we have a pretty good budget here that's uh, with a tax rate that's been stable as it always has been, roughly around the 2%. So the 2% you're saying really is just inevitable due to the cost of living, would that be fair to say? I would say increased costs, you know, the obvious ones, health benefits, uh, unclassified items such as gasoline, and so, you know, the, which has increased. Utility prices are up as well. But we are maintaining our level of services, including increasing our services. Uh, we have the track at the uh, stadium has to be repaired, and we're doing that. We're doing the Little, the little League field over again. We're turfing it completely. Um, our library services are increasing. Uh, we cut our pool rates by 25 percent. So, um, you know, we're, we're doing what we have to do to keep our services at a high level, and we're doing it without the state aid. We should be getting, there's no reason why North Bergen was receiving about $13.7 million uh, in 2006. And now, since 2011, we're at uh, seven, uh, seven million six, I think it is. But it's flat, just flat across the board. We don't go up a penny. The cost of living keeps going up, and we don't go up. We just stay flat, and that makes it very difficult to maintain things. So the state isn't helping, helping us or the other cities in the state. And uh, we're doing what we can to keep our services operating, our police department at its high uh, level of efficiency. But, you know, it would be nice to see some state aid coming in so we can start fixing roads and doing repairs and improving things where we normally would that we can't because the, we're so tight on the budget. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.